Hello, Representative Stuck here for another update from the Capitol. This afternoon, we heard the governor's eighth State of the State address, where he kicked off yet another campaign based on promises that won't be met and while glossing over the many issues impacting families in the Fox Cities. During the last year, the governor has pledged a combined $4.47 billion in state and local taxpayer money to one foreign corporation, the largest corporate welfare program to a foreign company in United States history, on the promise of building a factory and creating jobs. Meanwhile, thousands of families received layoff notices in the Fox Valley as companies entered bankruptcy and plants shut down. But the state didn't come forward with its checkbook to make sure these plants stayed open and that those jobs stayed here in Wisconsin. Last year, groups from all political stripes rallied around the cry of just fix it, asking for the governor to roll up his sleeves and to come up with a long-term funding solution for our transportation infrastructure. Instead, he dug in his heels and we continue to rely on borrowing to fund transportation while the project backlog continues to grow. This year, the governor announced spending millions in ads in Chicago to help bring young professionals and recent graduates back to the state. However, no amount of ads will fix the damage done and the backwards policies put in place by the governor. As young professionals, we value a strong public education system and we value public transportation, which is why I put forward the Fox Cities RTA bill. We want clean air and clean water and access to outdoor recreation. We want to refinance student loans and make sure higher education is affordable. We want an inclusive community which celebrates diversity, not one that rolls back discrimination protections. The state of our state is in rough shape. We are more divided than ever before. The last eight years are the result of feeding off divisiveness and resentment, not about bringing our state and our communities together. We all know that we are strongest and at our best when we are working together. Thank you.